just done under here. Welcome to my dollhouse that you saw in my last video. Um, so, I'm joined with Sonali and uh, Kimberly, and an Our Generation set I'm going to open up for you. So this is the Our Generation uh, lovely living room set in the dusty pink. Um, yesterday was me and my partner's three year anniversary, um, and I bought him Lego, he bought me doll stuff. So this is... Uh, something he bought for me to put in my dollhouse, which is um, a new addition to our actual house. So I'm going to open up, show you what it comes with, and then um, let's put it in the dollhouse and show you the doll living room. So uh, it's all taped in. I do have a little set of scissors, so you can't really see what I'm doing, so I'm just going to put it up on my knee. I've been doing a lot of doll sewing as well lately, so I will show you that in the next video, but Sonali's modelling uh, some of the bits that I've been sewing. Same with Kimberly. Okay, we're in. There's one bit done. Halfway there, still covered in plastic. Alright. So it's held it at the bottom of these slots. I'm just going to cut them. Dropping everything. So let's pop it down. So it comes with the doll outfit and kitten sold separately card. Did not want the doll kitten or outfit. I just want the outfit. It's kind of cute. Um, this is probably the only piece from the set I won't use, which is this um, floor rug with this like chevron pattern. It's cute. It just doesn't quite match the vibes I'm going for in my dollhouse. It's cute though. I'll keep it in my stash of doll things and then eventually maybe I'll do a pink room if my taste changes. Pink's just not really my colour. I say with a pink couch for my doll's face, but it's like a nice dusty pink. Uh, okay. So these things all kind of come together. So there's plastic on the bottom of this. Ooh, that was an awful texture. It comes with this TV, which is the exact same as the silver TV that comes in this dollhouse. Um, but gold is a better colour in my opinion. I prefer gold over silver. Um, I'll probably replace this image with something else. I need to figure out what. I think I want to take a screenshot from an Aspen Heights episode and put that there because um, we love Aspen Heights in this dollhouse. But yeah. it comes with this, which I think goes this way or this way. There's writing at the back. It's made for Batat in 2023 made in China. Um, so it could go like this. I'm probably going to use it like this and put stuff on the inside. I might paint it or I might just cover it in contact paper cool in a day, which is how I've done the rest of my dollhouse. Um, and it comes with a really cute plant. I wish this wasn't purple. I wish it was a different color, but I'll live with the purple. My only fear is that my cats are going to try and eat this because they love fake plants. One of my, one of my cats is obsessed with like chomping on a fake plant. I'd much prefer a chumps on a fake plant than a real plant, but still, naughtiness. This probably won't stay in the living room, this will probably stay in this room. Probably not that. I'll figure it out. This chair is so squeaky, I'm so sorry. Um, it comes with this really cute fuzzy heart pillow. I quite like this. I didn't realise it was in a love heart shape, I thought it was just like a blob. It's so fuzzy. This is so cute. Love. And the whole reason for this set... Oh, this is nice. Yo, our generation. You popped off with this. So it's got little wooden legs. That bottom is like a cork. Not a cork board. Like MDF. The, the wood that's not like really sturdy wood. It's like the mushed together wood. 
you know, you get me. <laughs> These bits are like solid wood. These are, is that like, is it MDF? I don't know. Um, and then this is like a, a velour, like a, not as thick as a velvet, like a velvet look. It's still got a pile so you can see when you brush it different ways. Um, and it's like got a upholstery from underneath, it's squishy. This is less squishy than this, but like still nice and squishy. It's a comfy seat for the, the dolls. I'm just gonna move that. It's quite low to the ground. That's another. It's not my favorite thing about our generation furniture, is a lot of them are quite low. Like that bed's really low. This couch is quite low. But let's put a doll in it, see how they sit. Alright, can't believe. Okay. It's quite a low seat, but I think it does work for them. Yeah. It's cute. I do really like it. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take you down to the floor and I'm going to show you the doll living room and we're going to set that up. Let's do that. So here I have all the pieces except for the plant and the rug set up in my little doll living room. I ended up going with the pink side table rather than the beige one that already came with the house but I use the existing drawer and I think it balances out the pink in the room without making it look too ultra femme um, and I balance it out with a pink candle, uh, Gabriella's accessories bag, um, a Care Bear plushie and then this crocheted blanket that I found at an op shop um, and we also have a Grace Does Up Success DVD as well. I'm pretty happy with this room I think I've still got a little bit to go to make it look a little more homely but I am pretty happy with the overall setup. Feel free to let me know if you like it as well in the comments below. Um, I'm going to pop a doll on the chair so you can see how the scale looks. Let me grab Thalia, my... Oh, dropped Robin. Oops. Uh, here is Thalia, my current mini-me. She just needs a new wig. And there we see, she can watch TV on her little couch. It's so cute! It's definitely a one person lounge room. We couldn't have too many dolls sitting in here at the same time. But I think with a little bit of work they could play maybe some video games together. And that is my current setup for this dollhouse. I'm going to show you a full dollhouse tour in a couple videos time. Until then feel free to tell me what you think I should add to this room, what you think I should take away. Or if you have any other tips and tricks for setting up a dollhouse. I am absolutely loving this journey of having this space to decorate. It's really fun. Um, I can't wait to do a little bit more with it and to show you in more videos. Until then, see you later guys!